we encourage people that uh, do not have a specific purpose uh, in the area to stay out of that area. To that end, we have robust law enforcement uh, presence in uh, the evacuated areas and in the level two areas. Uh, we've got our partners uh, from the Portland Police Bureau and Oregon State Police out there, as well as our deputy sheriffs. We know people are concerned about their property and their homes, and we are doing everything we can to protect uh, their property and their homes. To that end, we made an arrest uh, overnight of, an in, of one individual. He's a white male, 23 years old, by the name of Cody Cunningham, lives in Troutdale. Uh, he was arrested for theft by deception and a parole violation. Uh, he was arrested after he contacted fire officials and obtained fire clothing from them. Uh, MCSO deputies were contacted by the fire officials. We responded. We knew the individual in question and later tracked him down in Troutdale and made an arrest. I'm happy to provide any additional information about that if you would like. Uh, Lieutenant Chad Guidos is going to be providing the booking photo of that individual to all of you. Uh, at this point, we don't uh, uh, know what his intentions were, but certainly they were uh, not good. And we're hoping uh, that through the interview process as we are able to determine what he was doing out there. We continue to contact people who have no specific reason for being in that, in that area. And we are encouraging them, uh, strongly encouraging them with our law enforcement presence to not be in uh, areas that we've evacuated. Uh, fire clothing and other related gear. So, so you say it's theft by deception. Can you kind of describe what that means? So there's obviously an act of deceiving there. Correct. Uh, I would, uh, in this particular case, assume that he was uh, uh, telling the fire officials that he was a firefighter or related to uh, fire prevention and was uh, trying to obtain gear from them for that purpose. The obvious area you try to investigate is Correct, yes. How was he ultimately uh, discovered not to be a part of this fire? The uh, fire officials uh, that provided him some of their gear uh, took his name and contact information and, our law and then passed that information on to our law enforcement deputies and they did an uh, investigation, followed up on it and made an arrest. Well, uh, in the evacuated areas, we do have some folks that are checking on their property, moving livestock out of the areas. So people that live in those areas or have a specific purpose uh, may be allowed back into areas that are safe uh, momentarily to uh, check on their property or, or livestock. But certainly we are encouraging people out of, that are uh, evacuated out of those areas to stay out of there. And that's why we have that, law, that robust law enforcement presence to make sure that people's homes and their property is safe.